don't mind, oh, young Jim. Um, sure. Let me ask you this. Sure. For someone who knows nothing about you and about the book, how would you sum it up real quick? What is this book? And uh, the well, it's, the title really tells most of the story. It's one-on-one, -on -one, my journey with Hall of Famers, fan favorites, and rising stars. So the first part, the one-on-one, -on -one, is based on the name of my TV show. But it also means the personal nature of the show, which was really getting to know someone personally one-on-one. -on -one. The my journey part is about who I am, where I came from, what my standards and beliefs are, the influences, my parents and family, and how I ended up in the world of sports, which was not something I ever would have expected. Right. But then what we can learn from these amazing athletes, Hall of Famers, fan favorites, rising stars, and how at each level of their careers, they had to start somewhere. Yeah. So it's my story, their stories, and a lot of good behind-the-scenes stories. But when some, <laughs> so if you said a sports book, it wouldn't be a sports book. No, it's really a biography. Yes. I mean, the, the, the people in the book are athletes, although not me. I'm not an athlete. But it transcends a uniform. It transcends a zip code. It really transcends a, a profession in that what does it take for people to become uh, the top of their game? You know, the hard work, the determination, the failures, all of these things. And we can all learn from that. Mm -hmm. And that's what I've learned by having interviewed these people yeah. and what the fans have learned about them. It's not just, uh, they don't just show up one day and become, yeah. you know, exactly. a star player. Someone quoted it as a breed of people. A who, breed. A special breed of people who, mm -hmm. who uh, excel beyond ordinary yeah. because you don't, win by doing it part-time. It has to be a commitment. Total. Oh, for sure. Yes, for sure. They um, And not everybody makes it. And no. even some of the people who I featured here would eventually um, need to leave the game for whatever reason, either just health reasons or time was up, you yeah. know, for them, or um, that's just life, you know, the, the circle of... Uh, so in a the, way, you're a chronicler. Well, I'm a biographer. Uh, yeah, I'm a well, storyteller. A, yeah, it's a chronicle, isn't it, mm -hmm. of their lives. Sure. Through your eyes, though. But do you have interplay with them? Do they speak? Well, of course, this is based on 15 years of television shows. Oh, I see. Yeah, so the transcripts in here are from the TV uh, shows oh, themselves. Well, they do speak, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. and this is just the book based on that. And so the, the 40 of my 100 most notable interviews and programs are in here. Yeah. And it's all um, transcribed so you can read them thoroughly. You know, as if you were reading a, a magazine or anything. I mean, it's a book, yeah. you know. So it's transcribed from being um, uh, from a television and taking out all the things that you may hear or see in a TV show and making it make sense yeah, so you I can see. read the story. Uh, so... Yeah. You went black and white with all the old photographs. That sets a mood too, doesn't it? Uh, was, no, was... it has really nothing to do with well, the mood. That, it has so to it's do the with the cost. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and there's a 16-page yeah. color Oh, in the back, color, yeah. So we, we maxed out Very on beautiful. what we were able to do with the colors. So. Well, most publishers, yeah. unless it's an epic novel, don't publish this thick, do they? You know, that's a big read. Well, I, I made all the decisions ah, here. Oh, well, you're very yeah, lucky. Yeah, I was in control. Because it, usually it's condensed into a, you know, a two-hour movie or a two-hour book and it's this thick and you don't get really what you want to say. It, you know, well, the, I uh, added pages because awesome. um, I didn't, I wasn't yeah. done. Yeah. So I, you know, that's the beauty yeah. of um, controlling your own business right. and your own. So you had editing. Oh, absolutely, totally. sure. Very I good. had a woman uh, who had a team of editors. My mom was my first round of editing and second round, but no, I. You had worked. final say. Oh, sure, I had final say. Well, yeah, you don't absolutely. usually is the point. You, well, you, not when you go with another publisher. Yeah. I went with a boutique publisher. Oh, I see. I was going to say because the back covers are usually rubbish and they're made up by some guy who doesn't know you. Yeah. And it's like blurbs, you know, but this is Yeah, a... I can't speak to that. I can only speak to what I know, yeah. and that is what I did So here. tell me about the publisher then. Oh, Quickly. goodness. <laughs> what, um, well, my publisher is a woman named Lisa Okori Ross. She's out of Boston, and we were introduced through really kind of happenstance and she was someone who absolutely had the energy the um, de determination as I did to make sure this was a beautiful book and um, she had never done anything at this of this size or this nature before 
And so it was an adventure for both of us. And uh, I'm very, very pleased with how it turned out and uh, really very proud of it.